I needed this kind of life. And when I came here, I became like more aware of life, appreciating everything good that, that was coming. It's like this feeling of pure joy. <laughs> My name is Kevin. I was raised in Malaga, in South Spain, and I've been living here in Tenerife for five, six years already. I also know that I feel very lucky to call this home and to, and to get to know this place really good. All the Canary Islands are pretty amazing and every island has something different. Like one is uh, greener, like wild jungle, another one is like a big desert. And uh, Tenerife has a little bit of everything with the Teide, which is the biggest volcano in Spain. Um, the second or third volcano in the world, I don't know. It's a big fucking huge mountain and it's in the middle of a kind of small island so it got many many amazing places more open black sand, volcanic sand, beaches, uh, sand breaks, reef breaks, slabs, uh, golden, golden sand beach, a lot of a rock beach, uh, hidden places where you go hiking like one hour and you get to these magical places. The weather is so variable, you got so many different weather, so many different places and landscapes. The people are pretty chill, you got nice weather all the year, good waves pretty much all the year if you know where to look. Um, and you don't need much else, I guess. <laughs> I started the van business uh, with an idea because I always like camper vans. I always like like the, the idea of freedom of choosing where where you are like with your whole life with you. It's a beautiful idea. After COVID, I went out of my apartment and instead of looking for another one, I already had my van for a couple of years. So I said like, I want to travel all the islands to try all the waves to visit every place. So I don't need an apartment for that. I stayed in my in my van for around a year and I went to North Spain in the mainland and driving around. It was a super, super nice uh, era. <laughs> so yeah, I had the idea like to rent it to, to the visitors, to the tourists, to the local people who wants to, to get to know the island in a different way. I like all the people that come here to transmit that feeling of, of yeah, of beautiful life. <laughs> I got interested in surfing. Mm, well, I guess it was majorly because of my big brother, Steven. He's five years older than me. And, well, I kind of liked what he liked when I was little. Um, but we had very little information in that time. It was when I was 16, like 13 years ago, more or less. And I don't know, I didn't know the existence of softboards or surf schools or whatever. We had one little surf shop. and. I got a surfboard, it was a 5'9", super pointy and not for learning, so and it, in Malaga where I'm from you got waves like once a month or twice a month or something if you keep looking for the forecast and everything, it's not easy. And, and yeah, I, I, I started going whenever I could, one hour of bus, half an hour of walking to get a little session of doing nothing. Um, actually, to stand up on the board, it took me more than a year, a year and something, just to stand up on the board. And the first wave I could stood up, I already got the face like a left, and then the, the, the close out came to me, and like I bumped in the, in the foam a little bit, and when the, I thought it was like a super re entry or something, but it was my first wave, and I felt the wave, the green part of the wave, then crashed on the white water, and then went down, like completely rode the wave. And from that moment, that was it. Like, <laughs> like, okay, this is surfing because I was so, so frustrated. All the sessions, you improve something and it feels so, so good. Every session is the perfect session. And then you get like one bigger wave or one big wipeout and then you get all new feelings, new feelings. And that's what surfing is about, like the new feelings and the, to overcome the challenges.